Welcome to the video. My name is Benjamin Ratterman. I'm an artist and illustrator, and I'm going to show you how to draw some cool poses. Whether you're drawing a simple portrait, an action scene, or just want to have a character looking cool, you'll need to start with the pose. Poses are one of the basic steps when making a piece, and learning how to use them effectively can drastically change the approach you take. In this video, we will go over some strong tips and tricks that can help anyone get better at striking that perfect pose. Number one, body structure. For a pose to work, you need a good body to work with. Learning from reference is one of the best ways to not only improve the accuracy of your character, but also improve your skills with the human figure in general. Using your own photos, live models, or even photographs from the internet can drastically improve and set the tone for the piece as a whole. Of course, anyone can draw without reference, and some decide to use 3D models as well, like the ones provided in Clip Studio Paint. However, learning the fundamentals, even if it is only the surface, will always provide the most improvement. Number 2. Framing of the Scene what should you make the major focus of your piece? Framing helps you decide what kind of emphasis you want and how big or small you want to make that framing changes what people look at. If you keep the entire portrait in a scene from head to toe, then the entire character and possibly a background matters. If you only do the waist up, then more focus is on the clothing, skin, hair, etc. Where you draw your line depends on the framing you want to give it. It is most important for an artist to decide how much they want to show, and learning to do it well can help other avenues like comics and graphic novels. Number three, points of perspective. Perspective greatly changes how your poses will look depending on the mount you want. One point perspective is like you're looking down a flat road in the desert with an empty sky. There's only one vanishing point towards the middle. Your classic portraits against flat backgrounds can work well with this kind of perspective. Two-point perspective adds another vanishing point, with both points being towards the edges. This perspective works well for expansive scenes like landscapes and greatly helps with areas like cities, forests, and small towns. Three-point perspective adds the third point, now giving us changes in height while also keeping perspective. This perspective is getting closer to what our eyes are and is even more intensive. If you want to make large interiors or lots of objects fill a scene going into the background, this will be the best one to go with. Picking the perspective you want to use prior to drawing is the best way to keep pieces consistent, but you can definitely do it later if you want. Number 4. The Fish Eye Lens For those who wish to see even more, the Fish Eye Lens is the perfect tool. Fisheye perspective is a three-point perspective that goes further by warping the images at the edges in a spherical shape. This change makes images towards the edge get drastically warped, allowing for more information to be shown for the cost of a circular bend on all objects. Great for focusing on one major element of the piece while keeping in more information. It could be used for showing off hands, arms, legs, and feet for a more personal look. This is the hardest type of perspective to work with, so really think about whether you want to use it, and if you do, how much complexity you want to have. Number five, the environment around the character. Another important aspect of the pose is where the pose is set in the environment. From having a simple gradient background like a photo shoot, or having a full existing location like the downtown area of a city, setting the environment can help make a pose feel more appropriate to the viewer. So say you have a character about to strike a killing blow. Maybe having a storm happen with lightning flashing could increase the tension. Maybe your character is just lazing around and chilling. A comfy bedroom with some warm colors can help keep, keep everything easy breezy. This is one of the aspects some illustrators don't focus on, so if making some good environments could help you stand out from the crowd. Number 6. The lighting of the scene. Now that you have the scene before you, what about the lighting? Where you decide your light source and how the materials react to that light is one of the most important parts of any piece. If you have a figure brooding down at the city below, you pr probably wouldn't want it to be a bright day with barely a shadow. Make sure the lighting supports and enhances the major aspects of the piece. It makes them very successful. So before you get too far ahead, plan out the lighting and try a bunch of different levels and placement of that light source. Combine 
all of these elements together and I can bet that you will grow even stronger as an artist. I hope you enjoyed these tips and can use them in your practice. Hope you have a wonderful day and stay creative.